Alright guys, so welcome back to another WordPress tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be doing the single.php and the page.php. So, let's get started. So firstly, um, let's go control N and control S and save this file as a page.php. And the page.php we're going to go we're going to go to our index and we're just going to copy everything here just as a start point. Now, there's a few changes we want to make instead of blog, we're going to go php the title. And what else? We don't want author pages probably don't have authors if you want authors I wouldn't recommend it but if you want it you can have it I'm going to delete that we don't need a permalink because that's the page title what else do we need we need a loop um yeah that's good okay oops let's go to sample dot page all oh, right my bad let's get rid of this title so we just want the content save it and there we go. So that's the page.php. That's that's pretty easy. And then make a new one. And here I'm gonna call this one single.php. Um, copy page.php. Actually, let's copy index because index has author, and that's what we need. So once again, I'm gonna call this your PHP. The title don't need this anymore however we do need the author and we do need the time we do need the contents and I think that's about it let's take a look let's go tet tet posted by admin and uh, so that's pretty much it <laughs> that was simpler than I expected Okay, so now what we can do is I want to introduce something called media queries. Now, what media queries are is basically the element of how to make your website responsive. So it's saying like if the width of your website becomes this width, then uh, what changes do you want to make? So at the moment, if we take a look, if we scroll our website here, okay, oops, a bit laggy. If we move a bit down this way. You can see a scroll thing appears now we really don't want that we want all the content to stay inside the um, screen so we're gonna use media queries for that so we're gonna type in here so we are going to go media queries and under that we're gonna go at media and max width is 1067 I calculated that before okay so that's saying at media and when the width is 1067 pixels then what I want to do is gonna make the container I want to make that a max width of 100 pixels so you can't exceed 100 pixels Save it, refresh the page. Now, if we scroll, oops, my bad media screen. There we go. So, now if we go to the end here and slowly scroll, you can see that the content actually, um, oh, that's a little bug there. What was it? Yeah, it's a little, little over-type, but should be alright for now. Now, how did I fi find out it's 1067? You click F12 to go to your inspect element. And basically, what I did was I slowly went down until all the blue stuff in the background disappeared. And when that happened, or should I say, when uh, the scroll came about. And as you can see here on the very top right of your browser there's a dimensions uh, just copy that dimensions okay 
So that's an introduction to media queries. Let's go over it again. So we're gonna go at media screen and when it reaches a max width of 1067, then I wanna make this change. Okay. So in the future, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sidebar. And we're gonna have two divs called content left and a content right. Content left being the content, content right being the um, sidebar. Basically, when it reaches a certain point, the sidebar is gonna be so squished that it, it just doesn't work out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the content on top and then the con uh, sidebar below it. And we're gonna use media queries, so. Uh, we'll do that in a future episode. Maybe next episode? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'll see you about it. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This was just a quick tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.